Okay, my name is Dean Chessman, and today I'm going to show you this tool that I built to create this trace effect uh, in Touch Designer. So, uh, in a previous tutorial that I'll link to below, I showed how how I created this effect from scratch. Um, but I've also I went ahead and built a a simple tool that will allow you to just drag it in and uh, drag it in at any project and get the effect instantly. Okay, so let's dig into how this tool works. First, I'm going to get my uh, my tox file for my tool and drag it into my project. And then I'm going to go find a video that um, a video that I like dancing video from Pexels. Uh, I'm going to drag that in. And uh, I'm going to pull it into a null and then right click to view so I get a nice bigger view of it. Okay. Uh, okay, so when I go into the motion tracer tool, uh, I've got a tab here called Dean's motion tracer with different different parameters that I can toggle on and off. So um, first one is to show the input. Uh, if I want to have that uh, coming out of my output of the tool, then then I can toggle that on and off here. And I'll show in a minute why that might be important. Um, and then the movement threshold will increase, actually, I'm going to turn this off for now will increase how what the threshold is for what I want traced out of the motion in the video. Okay, so moving that up and down, you can see you can add a lot more, a lot less. This could be something you could drive with the audio reactivity if you want to have a lot going on at once or not, not much at all. Um, there's obviously the tools here for the line thickness. I can also pick a line color. Maybe like purple one might look good on this one. So now I can see it on top. Uh, and then I've added this, this option called a squiggle. That's what I'm calling it. So I can add sort of a curved effect to the lines. Uh, and then I can change the detail amount of the squiggle. So whether I want it to be really, you know, really squiggly and kind of watery almost, or if I want the squiggles to be a little more spread out and just kind of curved, curved away from, or curved around. Uh, so pulling those all the way up, I can also you know, turn the squiggle all the way down and leave the amount all the way up. Just gives you a couple more options to look at. So uh, pretty basic, simple options here. Um, some of the things I could do with this. So instead of just having the output come out at the end of it, I could turn off the input in the tool and then do something like add a bloom. And uh, put an over drag my video in and then in the bloom i can go in and, and add some intensity maybe i'll go in and change this color to like more like a yellow kind of you know, like a lightning sort of effect with this uh, and in my bloom i can go in and and kind of adjust like what's happening here so yeah i don't want to take too long on this but uh but this is a new tool and it is available on my Patreon page. Um, along with this and any other tool, if you sign up for my Patreon, you'll get access to all my tools that I'm going to be building, which I hope to do a lot of over the next over the next little bit. So if you uh, if you want to use this, throw this into your your uh, tools that you're building. You can check it out in the link.